Boy 12 is referred to counter extremist <laughs> extremist prevent officers by his own school after declaring there are only two genders and I'm gay, not queer. Another dangerous terrorist off of our streets. Uh, Boy has also made a video in which he stated there is no such thing as non-binary. I would agree with that. I just see it as complete attention seeking. School made referral to prevent amid fears that he could be radicalised by the far right. Somehow I don't think so. Uh, he was accused of unhealthy interest in weapons as he owns a toy crossbow. Bloody stupid. A toy crossbow. Oh no. He's going to give you... In fact, it's probably one of those suction cup things. Uh, a 12-year-old schoolboy has been investigated by counter-extremism officers after he declared there are only two genders. The child made a video uh, made a video posted online in which he also stated there is no such thing as non-binary. Uh, and in response to school bullies who mistakenly believed he supported transgender ideology, he said, I'm gay, not queer. Originally a homophobic slur, trans activists claim the word queer now describes people who don't adhere to the ideas of sex or gender. But, the, I mean, so hard to keep up with definitions nowadays, isn't it? But anyway, uh, but the school told the boy's mother they would refer him to Prevent, the home office programme that attempts to stop people becoming terrorists amid fears he could be at risk of being radicalised by the far right. By the way, one of the things that's hilarious, left-wing terrorists and uh, Islamic terrorists don't get referred to Prevent at all. It's all right wing. Prevent was brought up to stop Islamic extremism, and it's n it's like never used for that ever. And oh man, see by the chad like walking into class the next day. <laughs> well, got, got referred to Prevent lads. <laughs> Fucking chad move. All those bitches. All those bitches on your dick when you hit sixteen. When you hit sixteen, right? But. It's just, it's just honestly stupid. This, this little guy just hit out with an opinion and basically taxes are being where everyone's like, oh my God, he might kill people. <laughs> and they brought in our government money being paid for this fucking stupid group to send a little 12-year-old boy to it because he owned a toy crossbow. I bet it is one of the suction cup ones. It's stupid. Uh, the male is aware of the boy's identity and has agreed not to disclose it and has also viewed the social media posts. The boy's mother was visited by Preven and Northumbria police officers this week in a meeting she described as an interrogation because it's the state trying to frighten you. They try and frighten the boy because he's got the wrong and naughty opinions. No, 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 no. You must agree to let 40-year-old men in dresses get changed in front of your 5-year-old. You absolutely must agree to that. If you don't, then you're a dangerous, dangerous terrorist and we will pay a bunch of taxpayer money to scare you into changing your mind. Uh, officers listed a string of allegations to illustrate the boy was at risk of radicalisation. I mean, see if there's one thing that will definitely radicalise someone is when you state an opinion and you get referred to a group after being accused of being a potential terrorist and then pol the police come to your house and scare your mum. Now that'll radicalise a motherfucker, but that's it. This is we've discussed this before. See the whole the government, or oh, what the government's doing is actually going to radicalise people. Yes, they are. They are fully aware. That's what they're trying to do. They want lone wolf attacks, so the government can go. Oh, what happened? What caused this? Oh, I guess we need more laws like that. That's why they're doing it. That's why they're doing it. Uh, the boy's mother said, We think that he was targeted as the children believe gay people agree with trans ideology. He made a video which I uploaded to YouTube where he said, There are only two genders and I'm gay, not queer. The school phoned up and were incensed by it. They said that they would refer him to prevent for that video. But obviously, some activist that's working at a school. And if you're an activist working at a school, you've absolutely no business being there whatsoever. You are there to teach, not enforce your politics. Right? You want to do that? Go join a party. Go join a party if that's what you want to do. You're there to teach. Uh, they said that he was at risk, at risk of rad blah, radicalization, not that he had been, but was a risk when he gets to 13 and is entitled to his own social media accounts. There was a risk he would fall in with far-right groups. <laughs> he might now. Uh, she said counter-terror officers who visited the family home raised concerns over the fact that her son, who is Jewish, harbored extremist views on account of his response when asked if there were any groups that shouldn't exist. She said her son re son responded that Hamas, the Gaza-based terror group, should be wiped out. I mean, if you're a Jew and Hamas's goal is to literally wipe out Jews, then yeah, I get it. <laughs> like, I understand it. You see all those people whose literal life goal is for me to die? I want rid of them. Fair opinion, if you ask me. I'm still not commenting on the conflict because I don't care. I don't give a fuck about Israel or Palestine. Who gives a shit? Only the people there. And... 
our governments and our government's coin purses, unfortunately. But, see the whole, oh, he's going to fall in with far-right groups. Like, if if he's Jewish, you don't need, <laughs> you don't need to worry about that. He'll, what's going to happen is, he's going to go on Twitter, he's going to create one of those like, epic-based right-wing accounts, and then everyone's going to go, like, wait a minute. Oh, again, like, <laughs> So that's what's going to happen, right? You don't need, don't worry, don't fret about it. Uh, further fears were raised over comments he made to school bullies, stating that he wanted to exterminate them. He is said to have made the remark in, retali- in, in relation to appalling racist slurs from classmates. In a letter to the school in South Tyneside, seen by the Mail, his mother detailed how he was subjected to vile verbal abuse and Nazi salutes. Prevent officers uh, also suggested the boy had an un- bl- unhealthy interest in weapons on account of another on online video, again uploaded by his mother, which showed him demonstrating a toy crossbow bought from English Heritage, she said. It's normal to be interesting, like, see if he was, like, looking up guns on the deep web or something like that, then yeah, whatever, but if it's, like, a little toy crossbow bloody thing, I mean, I own a bow and arrow, which I, which I don't use to hunt, I don't use that to hunt, that's illegal here. Very illegal here, I don't use that. Uh, English Heritage describes the bestseller item as completely harmless but lots of fun. So it's a kid's toy because he's a 12 year old. I used to walk around with like, remember you had the toy guns with the little orange, but I used to walk around with them all the time when I was wee. We would play soldier. Now it's like, oh my god, what an unhealthy interest in weapons. You would think the state would fucking want that with the future fucking war coming up with Russia and China. Right? You would think they would want that. But no. Uh, The mother said uh, the school and prevent officers were guilty of double standards, claiming anti-Semitic incidents at the school. By the way, yes, still bald. I mean, it's grown back. Jesus. I don't give a shit about it anymore. There's a reason I wear a hat all the time and I don't do anything with my hair. Still looks shit. I've even thought, in fact, I'm not going to give it away. I was even thinking about going out and getting hair plugs and just turning up on the channel one day with just... L'Oreal advert. And then never addressing it. Everybody would be like, what the fuck's going on with your hair? And I'd be like, what are you talking about? It's always been like this. But that's just between you and me. Don't tell anyone. Don't ruin the joke. Uh, the mother... Oh, in fact, we've just read that. Uh, she said, we sat down with the prevent officers and there was an interrogation. They had an attitude of, we'll ask the questions. Which, that's what police officers do. Uh, we were asked if we monitored his social media and what songs he listens to. God, this is the new one again. Did you listen to Marilyn Manson? Was he playing Grand Theft Auto? Like, that that's what that, that screams of. Uh, they said there was a whole series of things he had been accused of. The police response was criticised by free speech campaigners who rebuked officers for willfully missing the target. Harry Miller, chief executive of Fair Cop, I've actually spoke to Harry, uh, says his views on gender as, are as far away from terrorism that it's possible to be. There are views that are held by the majority of people in Britain and don't even get into the foothills of terrorism. You can't call it criminality, let alone terrorism. There is a difference between bad behaviour and terrorism. Uh, this is another instance of the police willfully missing the target because hunting down school children is easier than confronting actual terrorists which is very true. Fair Cop will continue to stand between these idiots and the public until they stop behaving like the woke cowardly Stasi that they have become. The Home Office needs to get a grip, sack every complicit, uh, complicit chief constable. Kate Barker, chief executive of LGB Alliance, said, If it's a sign of radicalisation to say you don't like being called queer, then according to our research, 94% of LGB, LGB people can expect a knock on the door from counter-terrorism officers. We applaud this young boy for standing up for his beliefs, and we condemn the teachers and police who think it's wrong to abhor this horrible slur. The prevent strategy was introduced by the government in 2011 as a, as part of a bid to tackle terrorism through early intervention. Now, they've came into this guy, like I've said, they've came in, they've frightened his mum and went, oh, see that normal opinion that you just spouted out? Yeah, we think you're a terrorist because of it. If anything's going to radicalise them, it's going to be that. Uh, also, and like I've said many, many times before, I've talked to a lot of people that have went to prison over making racist comments or like, saying the wrong thing or they were in a shop and got angry and said the P word to the man behind the counter, etc, etc. And when they come out of prison, woo! Wow, they're so much worse. They are so much worse. And the police know. The police know that it makes them worse. But 
They're trying to create terrorists. Uh, according to the latest Home Office data, there were 6,817 referrals to prevent in the year ending 31st of March 2023. The figure was up 6.4% on the previous year. A joint statement from Northumbria Police and Counterterrorism Policing, uh, North East Red, we are unable to discuss individual cases or identify anyone who may or may not be the subject of a prevent referral. All referrals are treated in the strictest confidence and will always prior blah, and will always prioritise the safety and welfare of those concerned. Prevent is a multi-agency approach to safeguarding and supporting those most at risk of radicalization through early intervention. It seeks to protect young and vulnerable people against all forms of extremist activity, regardless of ideology, by basically turning up at their house and then basically committing violence upon them and forcing them to answer your questions and basically saying, you're not allowed to have that normal opinion, here is our extremist ideology sponsored by the state, you must believe this instead, you little terrorist. That's what I that's what this is. That's what this is, because remember, seeing li literally every single dystopian fucking franchise or book or novel or movie or whatever that's ever been made, anyone that goes against the states is declared a terrorist. That's it. That's it, like, equilibrium. Anyone that liked art was a terrorist. 1984, literally anyone that had anything to do with anything against the party was a terrorist. In Russia, anyone that was in there, terrorism, 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 blah, blah, blah. Right, that's what they do. That's what every single despotic nation does. Anyone that doesn't like the state is a terrorist. I'm a terrorist. I'm probably... <laughs> that was... Uh, sorry, I, as, as you can see, I'm on a diet and I've not been eating much. My body requires lots and lots of calories. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's like, I'm not a terrorist. What I meant to say, What I meant to say was, I'm probably on a terrorist list that the government has. I'm not a terrorist. Anyway, that's a good that's a that's a, that's a good point to end the video.